Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Jess Scully, I'm a councillor on the City of Sydney, I'm part of the Clover Moore Independent Team. I also want to acknowledge uh, the original uh, owners and uh, custodians of this land, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, uh, and also the organisers here today. Um, it is fantastic uh, that there is so much uh, community passion and um, community interest in King's Cross and in this development. I can't be quite as um, uh, clear on, on my position because even though this will be determined by an IHAC, it's very important uh, that there is not seen to be any um, opinion either way for uh, a DA that's under development, uh, sorry, under consideration, but it is very, very important uh, that we do receive submissions from the community. Uh, now, I, I want to raise a couple of points because there have been some allegations uh, that the, the City of Sydney is rubber stamping this proposal. That is absolutely not the case. Uh, the City of Sydney staff will consider this. They have worked with the developer in pre-DA process, which is open and available to any developer. But uh, we are committed to this project going to uh, in front of our design advisory panel. That is a panel of very eminent designers and architects who review major and significant projects. And they have a great deal of input into the design quality and the design outcomes. So your comments here tonight, I will convey personally to the Director of Planning at the City, but your comments um, in your DA submissions will also go to the planning staff and will also go to the design advisory panel. So the design advisory panel are there to make sure we do get design excellence out of big projects. Uh, it is true that this will be determined by an IHAP. They're also known as local planning um, panels. Now, this whole thing really is um, anyone's guess how IHAPs will go. They actually start officially on the 1st of March and we still do not have guidelines from the state government as to the criteria that the IHAPs will be judging at policies. Uh, judging um, projects under. So this is very much policy on the run, sadly, from the state government. It's just not good enough. Um, we have no notification of how the chairing process will work for IHAPs, whether co-chairs will be appointed. Um, we have very little clarity and insight. So if you want to have some input into that process, do write to your local member, do um, speak to other members of uh, perhaps the planning minister and seek out more clarity, not just for King's Cross, but for all communities in New South Wales about what these local planning uh, uh, panels will do because we just don't know. Uh, but one piece of, of news is that any uh, DA uh, that receives more than 25 submissions will also go um, to these planning panels. So it's not just the size of the, of the project, but it's also the number of submissions that are received. So the best thing that we can ask you to do is really make a submission and um, to also speak to the planning minister and write to the planning minister to ask for more clarity on local planning panels. Uh, please do know that the city has not rubber stamped this. The city will take this to our design advisory panel um, and the city will require design excellence and it will require a plan of management for this project. So we, I think there are a great deal of very valid concerns that have been raised here. Um, I, I remain available to continue to take your thoughts to our Director of Planning um, and uh, we're very committed to making sure that we can get a really good outcome for King's Cross. establishment of the IPAT says independent hearing um, panels that they were welcomed by organisations such as the Property Council of Australia because it takes the politics out of the planning process and that's one of the reasons why councillors now have to, to be very cautious about what they say or do in respect to development applications. Um, so it's an issue of democracy. 